Welcome to the video lessons. I'm going to discuss about gross income, net income, taxable income. So for our learning objectives are to differentiate gross income, net income, and taxable income, and to enumerate the benefits of wage earners. So let's review. What is the difference between salary and rate? So salary is a fixed payment agreed to both the employer and the employee. So for example, 15,000 monthly salary of Billy. No overtime pay, no holiday pay, or no double pay. So in the other word, salary is a fixed income. So wage naman, it is a payment for labor or services usually according to a contract in a per hour, day, or piece of work basis. So for example, 50 pesos payment if you finish the 100 pieces of making bonus bangus. So usually, wage ang tawag kapag nagbabago ang amount ng sahod. Dahil pwedeng mag-overtime, pwedeng mag-undertime, or pwedeng mag makatanggap ng double pay. So in the other word, wage is a variable income. So let's proceed to the employees or employee benefits package. So in the Philippines, we have a benefits, basic benefits like SSS, pag-ibig, bill health, sick leave, 13 month pay benefits, holiday pay benefits, overtime pay, and other benefits na pwedeng ma-avail ni, ni employee sa kanya mga employer. So these are the example of SSS contribution. Bill health SSS contribution table and pag-ibig contribution table. So this table of SSS, Pag-ibig and Pill Health, we use this later on in solving the gross or taxable income. So let's proceed to the definition of terms. So gross income is the amount of money you earn before anything is taken out for taxes or other deduction. For example, even though your salary might be 3,500, you might only receive a check for 2,500. In that case, your net income would be 2,500 but your gross income is 3,500. So, gross income ang tawag kapag hindi pa na ibabawas ang dapat ibawas like taxes, penalties, absences, and tardiness or late. So, net income ang tawag kapag naibawas na lahat ng dapat ibawas. So, how about the tax taxable income? So, taxable income is the amount of income used to calculate how much tax an individual or company owes to the government in a given tax year. It is generally described as adjusted gross income. So, taxable income naman kapag ang income ay dapat bigyan ng tax dahil may mga income na pasok sa or mataas ang sahod or pasok ang kanyang sahod sa range of taxable income. So, meron ding mga hindi taxable income kapag minimum ang sahod or medyo maliit ang sahod kaya hindi na bibigyan ng tax. So, the formula of taxable income is monthly basic pay plus overtime plus holiday pay plus night differential minus tardiness, absences, SSS contribution, bill health contribution, and pag-ibig contribution. So let's proceed to the example. The following is the payroll of Colin in the month of November 2020. Compute how much is the taxable income. 
So, taxable income ang hinahanap sa given sa problem nito. So, meron tayong provided given which is which are monthly sal monthly income is equals to 15,000, holiday pay is 577, overtime 100, night differential 200, tardiness 30, absences 577, SSS 602, bill health 206.25 pag ibig 300 note meron tayong note diyan contribution of sss pag ibig and bill health are based on the table so nagbase tayo doon hindi pwedeng mag invent diyan so for our solution ilagay natin yung formula which is taxable income is equals to monthly basic pay plus overtime plus holiday pay plus night differential minus tardiness plus absences plus SSS contribution plus bill health contribution plus pag-ibig contribution. So, pagkatapos natin ilagay yung formula, isunod natin ay yung substitute the value from the given in the formula. So, monthly basic pay is 15,000 overtime is 100 Holiday pay is 577 and ninth differential is 200 minus 30 of tardiness plus absences of 577 plus 602 of SSS contribution plus bill health contribution of 206.25 plus pag ibig contribution. So, lalabas dyan ay 15,877 minus 1,715.25. So, the total is 14,161.71. So, therefore, the taxable income of Colin in the month of November 2020 is 14,161.75 for the month of November. So another example. Romeo is a factory worker in ABC Corporation. He is earning 18,200 per month but one time he was late. So less 50 pesos. So 50 pesos is the late amount of late and the absent is 700 pesos per day with overtime of 500 and double pay deduct all mandatory benefits and compute how much is the taxable income so provided na rin ang given in this problem so the monthly basic pay is 18,200 holiday pay is 1,400 overtime is 500 tardiness is 50 pesos absent or absences is 700 SSS contribution is 720 bill health contribution is 275 247.50 and the pag ibig contribution is 18,200 so again the SSS bill health and pag ibig contribution are based on the table so next is this ilagay natin yung solution so ang solution ay taxable income is equals to monthly basic pay plus overtime plus holiday pay plus night differential minus tardiness plus absences plus SSS contribution plus bill health contribution plus pag ibig contribution so pagkatapos natin ilagay yung formula substitute the value in the formula so monthly basic pay is 18,200 plus overtime of 500 plus holiday pay is 1,400 and there's no night differential kaya 0 yun minus tardiness of 50 plus 700 of absences or 700 pesos of absences plus SSS contribution of 720 plus 
build her contribution of 247.50 plus 364 of pag-ibig contribution. So, ang sagot dyan, 20,100 minus 2,081 pesos and 50 centavos is the total of 18,018 pesos and 50 centavos. So, therefore, the taxable income of Romeo is 18,018.50. So, ganun lang kadaling isold ang taxable income ng mga empleyado. So, I hope you understand the lessons. Thank you for watching.